What's going on guys? Here we are today. I'm making a video of the ever cool Calico M100. All right guys, so the Calico M100 is a 22 LR rifle. Probably heard about the Calicos and all the 90s rap songs. This is the Rifle 22 version. There were also other rifle pistol versions, 9mm, stuff like that. Full autos were cool. Rate of fire, sky high. Look up some videos of those because they're awesome. You can still find these things. This one happens to be serial number pre. It's a pre-band, so like before the 94 band. This one was made. Got this years ago. Uh, they're awesome. They're quirky. You know, it's different. It was ahead of its time. Definitely a space gun, futuristic. Talk about it a little bit. Uh, one thing to mention, you can still get parts for these through Calico. They are still around. The prices are very overpriced. Uh, stuff is high. Definitely not worth the amount of money that they charge for them. Uh, like for this one, I really wanted to outfit it with the bipod they make for it and also the scope mount that they make for it. But it's expensive and I'm like, eh, eh, I don't know. So I kept it this way. And uh, here we are guys, let's take some shots, talk about a little bit in between the Calico M100, Foldy Boy And there you go. If you're into the movie Spaceballs, you'll know that this gun was in Spaceballs and it's like, you shot my hair, you know, anyway. Anyway, that's for a different crowd. But this gun is just very cool. It's actually surprisingly pretty accurate. I haven't shot it in a long time. But it was really fun to shoot, and people always like, well, they jam so much, they're not reliable. But the, really, the magic is in the magazine. So, you know, this is only a 20-round magazine, but it's, it's helical. So, you know, you have to wind it up similar to other magazines you might have on the market. You got to give it the proper amount of winds to put that spring tension on, because if you don't, you know, partway through your magazine, you'll run out of spring tension, and it won't feed uh, anymore. So... That's the quirkiness about it, but overall, it's just very cool. Let's take some shots, see how it runs. Just taking a closer look at the magazine here, uh, and what I was talking about with uh, the rotating of it to get that spring tension, there's a button in the back here that relieves the spring tension. So what you could do is load this thing, push the button to take the spring tension off, and then you, know, you could just leave it sit stored, and then when you wanted to uh, you know, shoot it again, you would just take and spin this or use the little uh, lever here show you the little lever here pops out and you can just wind it like that or just use the little finger grooves there but as you do that what will happen you'll hear it go and then the follower will push and give you some tension so when you load it it's sort of ready to go here I think it already did it already popped up a minute ago so you can see now there's some tension on it and you can go ahead and load it so if you don't already know what's cool about this magazine is like I was just saying it's a helical magazine and it feeds from the top down. So here you can see that's where the ammo is fed through. Put it on the track like so. Then once you're sitting down in there, all you gotta do is squeeze it or tap it into place. Now you're good to go. It then uh, ejects from the side like a normal standard gun does. Uh, the 9mm version, memory serves, they eject it from the bottom. Uh, cool, different. And then like I was saying here, you got your spring here. Wind it up, put your tension on, retractable. Let's run it, let's see how it goes. Haven't shot this thing in a while. Ran pretty good to me. 15 shots there. Again, unload the magazine, remove it, squeeze these tabs on either side. Squeeze, comes loose, pops off, change the magazine, uh, put a new one on, reload, whatever you're gonna do. But the Calico is just a pretty cool gun. And let's take some more shots. I'd recommend if you can get one, get one. People say they're not reliable. It's because they're not spinning the magazine spring enough, getting it tight. It's the way it is. You gotta do it. This thing is cool, man. It's really just like it's like a sewing machine. Like it's just <laughs> it's a 22, yeah. But you gotta just shoot it to see what I'm talking about. I feel like it just feels different than a, another like little tactical 22. For some reason, I don't know if it's the overall, the, the size, the weight of it. It's not heavy. I mean, it's ma mainly plastic, like most 22s. But it just, 
It's just like dun 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 dun. This is like a little sewing machine. I, I don't know. These things are always cool. Let's Alright guys, I mean that's basically it. Short video. I'm trying to do a different format these days instead of going on and on, making a long video. Maybe something you guys might want to watch a little more as a shorter video. So here we go. Guys, Calico M100. Cool, iconic. The name is iconic just in hip-hop history. Really in firearms history. Calico is something that is one of those pieces that I wanted in my collection because it's it's a calico, you know, and it looks cool. It's a space gun way ahead of its time in the 80s, uh, early 90s. So, yeah, one of them things. All right, guys, don't forget Steve MP5 on the Instagrams. See you next time.